never do again what we did in Fast Five. We could never match Braun with Braun in the same way. There wouldn't be a bigger person to get than Hobbs. There wouldn't be a more fan-fantasized matchup than Hobbs. Uh, so how would we push the envelope? And by choosing this kind of very efficient, uh, almost Bond goes rogue-like character, um, you in the audience go, how is Dom going to handle this? It's not just a warehouse brawl. It's not just a, you know, muscle against muscle. Or this guy, the, the, the rival that Dom is facing right now works in a different way and, uh, and is not simultaneously not a, a afraid to exploit your weakness, which is anything that you feel is dear to you. The great thing about Fast Six, though, is that we've got this wonderful character coming back, Letty. And Letty allows us to do so many great things. One of them is to put a female, to put a gender spin on the fight that we just did in Fast Five. So part of doing that was finding who the female counterpart would be for our rough Letty, who we saw in 2001 punch guys and knock guys out. That's how we were introduced to her. And uh, Soderbergh did a lot of the work for us <laughs> um, because we, we got... Gina Carano, after she had already broken through, the the butterflies were out. And because she has so much experience as an athlete, we were able to exploit all that. We were able to incorporate all of that and really, really take our time to design a really intense fight sequence between Letty and Riley, who's, who's played by Gina Carano. I was like, there's a car I couldn't have gotten in my wildest dreams if I wanted to. How the hell did you get it, Dennis? <laughs> uh, I was ecstatic. I was ecstatic. I was ecstatic because it's so unique. I was ecstatic because there was such a history. Um, and in a sick, sick, sick way, In the same way that Dom was ba banned from the racetrack, so was this Daytona. But you're talking about my car guys who think so deeply about the Dom character and the car and their identities and how they're similar. We were all gung-ho about going over to Spain and going over to London. London also offered a contrast to the warm Rio. It wasn't going to be so happy in this one. It was going to start getting dark. We were happy in Rio because we thought we had overcome the Letty loss. That's ultimately why we were happy in Rio. As you're kind of tapping into the heart of that story, you're thinking at the end of the Rio, at, at the end of Fast Five, we're over Letty. He's going he's to survive only to find in Fast 6 that's not the case. And when that's not the case, here comes the gloom. Here comes the cold reality that London offered. A lot of beautiful women in London. Um, we do like to imagine and create the tuner bills in all of these locations. That's kind of what links all these locations together because they all have that love. Um, but my favorite part about that tuner bill is where it leads. The audience is going to lose their minds when they see Dom and Letty racing around Piccadilly Circus. <laughs>